Hi. That's that's not very helpful. Well, no, it doesn't matter. Just keep it in landscape. It'll be easier for me to edit. Okay. Um, this is a this is your user guide for your new Aero Garden pump refiller or refiller pump. Okay, here's the pump, this little thing. I added these weights because I don't really trust these little suction cups uh, to hold it down. And then here's a tube. Now I'm going to send it to you loose because I figure you'll want to trim it. And also, it's kind of unwieldy, but if you get it in the position that you want it and warm it up with a hair dryer and then let it cool, then that will be the position that it likes. So you can kind of set the position for it. Okay, now here's the float controller. goes inside this little clear plastic tube, okay, and then you attach the hose here. Now once you get it to the length you want, the easiest way to attach it is to dip it in hot water. It doesn't have to be boiling, but say like a hot cup of tea, dip the end in water which will soften it up and then you can push it in there real good, okay. Now, the height adjustment is limited, but it is set at the, high, at the lowest level right now, which hopefully isn't too high. If you want to raise the level, you can grab it here, zoom in, come on, you can grab it with your little needle nose pliers and loosen this top nut. And once you've loosened that top nut, now there's a bottom nut that you can grab and start to loosen. And that will, of course, raise it up when you get it where you want it. Tighten. Tighten it pretty good. So I, I raised it about a millimeter there. Okay, insert it in here. It's a pretty snug fit. Make sure that the float moves. Insert the float where you would have cilantro growing. Here is our reservoir of water. I've put some tea in it so that it would be, not be clear. So you insert that down there and try and get the pump to lay flat. Like I said, I think you'll want to heat this tubing up and get it straightened out to the correct angle for you. And like I said, I'm not going to attach this too firmly. USB charger. Let me know if you don't need this. I won't send it along if you've got a bunch of them. So I'm going to plug that in. And I'm going to plug this in. But before I do that, I don't want you to show a picture of that. I want you to show this. Ready? Here goes. And as you can see, it's about three inches full, probably a little bit less here. And, um, oh, one other thing I forgot to show. On the pump, not that you should care about this, but there is a little dial here that controls the flow. So if you push it all the way there, you basically have shut the pump off. 
And if you leave it over here, it'll flow at a full rate, which should not be an issue unless it's like splashing around or something too much. Okay, there you have it, your user guide. Enjoy.